Raising a teenager is not always easy, but there are a lot of myths out there that make it more complicated. Dr. Ken Ginsberg is asking parents to change their attitude and approach the teen years with the same excitement we do with babies. His new book is called Congrats, You're Having a Teen. Strengthen your family and raise a good person. Dr. Ken Ginsberg joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. I think we all feel that teens really don't care what we think um, and are very rebellious. Um, is that is that wrong? Respectfully, that's absolutely wrong. Um, all the research shows us that teenagers care intensely what we think. They care more about our values and about pleasing us than you can imagine. But why does the myth exist? The myth exists because sometimes teenagers do push us away. Because what are they doing? They're trying to become independent. To become independent, they have to learn that they don't need you so badly. And as a result, they might temporarily pretend they don't want you in their life. But trust me, they are listening. You matter as much or more than ever in their lives. Well, you know, I think a lot of parents try and walk this line where you, you, you want to tell them what to do, but you don't want to be their friend. Where is that middle lane? What should you be doing? Because teenagers, all of a sudden, they all of a sudden, like a, a light, a, it seems like a switch and they want nothing to do with you. Right. So again, they do want you in their lives. Yeah. They don't want or need you to be a friend. Why? Friends judge. Friends <laughs> choose whether they like or don't like you. Parents' love is unconditional. Friends want you to do things that are fun. Parents want you to do things that are going to prepare you to thrive. They need you as a parent. And what we know is we have to strike that balance between talking about how intensely we care and love our kids and how deeply we need them to be safe. I think sometimes things get uh, lost in communication, especially when you're parenting out of frustration. You talk about cold communication. What is what is that? It's a critical thing to understand. Cold communication is actually deeply warm. The adolescent brain is emotionally brilliant. It reads and actually even overreads signals we send. And what happens is when we are condescending or angry or lecture or even overly joyous or exuberant, the emotional side of the brain takes over and their rational decision-making brain isn't able to uh, develop or come out as much as we need it to right now. Cold communication is warm understands that they're the experts in their own life and it stays calm right and when it stays calm kids borrow our calm their emotional selves stay stable and once someone's in mid-adolescence they will be able to think at the same level as an adult when we know how to communicate that's my goal is to both dispel the myths and give parents the tools to be able to reach and elevate their young people. And you also say instead of being upset that they're pushing your way, you should be you should be excited about the fact that they they're doing that because they're learning to be independent and they're wrestling with this how much they love you but they need independence. Right. So I'm not saying this is easy, right? Yeah. Um it's hard because you have to think about it. A kid is pushing you away because they're imagining being able to walk on their own. And up until now, you've done everything for them. So sometimes they wish you were invisible and they pretend they hate you, but not because they do, but because they love you so much it hurts. And if you know that deep down inside, you can get through those occasional slam doors and occasional eye rolls. Don't hover, don't demand they let you in, don't demand they love you, rather, Give them space and let them know you're not going anywhere. All right, last one real quick. You say too many parents focus on the product, the achievement, instead of the process, the learning process. Can you be more specific about that and why that's important? Absolutely. What we want to do is elevate kids' strengths instead of give them anxiety. When we focus too much on what they're producing, what it actually does is create a lot of anxiety because of their desire to please you, and they don't perform as well. When instead we focus on their effort, what they're putting in, how they're trying to stretch, kids will grow and know that they're pleasing you for growing and 
you allow them to make mistakes because when they can make mistakes and learn to recover, they're going to grow and stretch and be more successful. Well, for more, you can check out uh, parentandteen.com or follow Parent and Teen on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, thanks for being with us, doctor. Pleasure and an honor. Thank you.